Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's KBB Alpha here and today I have another review and unboxing video for you. This is the uh, Slim Wireless Keyboard from Jellycomb. Now they do offer this style keyboard in two colors. This one is the Space Gray and they have a uh, white and silver one as well. Now I did get this product for $39 and it is advertised as um, being compatible with Androids and Macs. So since I don't own a Mac, I'll go ahead and connect this to my Android tablet in a bit. Uh, but first let's go ahead and unbox and give a little review of this product. All right, guys, so as you can see, that was pretty much it that was inside the box. We do have the keyboard and the uh, USB cable used to charge that. Now, as I brought this outside the box, I was wondering what this rubber, this rubber was. And apparently it is a keyboard cover. I thought that was pretty cool. I, you know, didn't think that they would also include this with the keyboard. It wasn't advertised either as coming with the keyboard. So yeah, that's a that that's a that's a plus there, you know, because I do like to keep my devices clean, and I would have eventually searched for a keyboard cover, but since they already provided it for me, awesome. Now I wanted to try the keyboard cover here that was included with the product. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it is sitting very snug on all the keys. Uh, there's absolutely no movement. So this rubber was actually cut to form for all these keys here. Normally, you know, when you do buy these aftermarket key covers, uh, there is a lot of uh, space between the keys. Or when you type, it kind of jumps up. But as far as I can tell with this one... It's pretty much like a second skin here. I can barely tell that there is a keyboard cover on this. All right, so let's go just go ahead and take this off. I'll go ahead and put it back on later, and I'll show you guys a close-up view of the keys itself. So here is the keyboard itself. Now uh, let me go ahead and pick it up and show you how thin this keyboard is. That is pretty thin. Let's go ahead and try to get the side view here. That is a really thin keyboard and it's pretty light too. So I've gone ahead and brought the camera down here so you can see a, a closer picture of this. Now I do like the color scheme here. Like I said, it is a space gray color. If you do own any Apple products, this will go really well with the space gray theme here. So here's just a closer zoom of the keys. As you can see, the keys are a little bit textured, just a little bit. So here we have the uh, keyboard here. And now it's been fully charged. Uh, I did read the manual a little bit here, uh, so I kind of know how to connect this. So let's go ahead and connect this keyboard here. So what you need to do is go ahead and turn this on. It'll show green. Next, the instructions were to press the either one, two, or three uh, Bluetooth slots here. Go ahead and press that and then long press it. So it starts flashing. So now I'll go here to my tablet. Let me get to the settings here. All you need to do is just find the uh, keyboard here. Now it is just labeled as Bluetooth keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and pair it. So now it's connected. So let's go ahead and pull up an app here so I can show you guys that it is connected. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just type something random here. As you can see, 
the keyboard oops works perfectly so yeah, that's pretty much it it was a pretty easy setup here um nothing to plug in it's all controlled through bluetooth now i do like the feel of the keys itself as you can tell the keys are pretty large here so i mean there's not a lot of room for mistyping here and this pretty much is just a standard keyboard layout. You have the numpad here on the right, the home end, page up, page down buttons here, up and down, left, right arrows here, and the keyboard itself. Now you do have uh, controls here. I'm not sure if it'll work for this, but let me go ahead and press the FN or the uh, option button here. And now pressing F1 is supposed to decrease the brightness. So, oh, okay, look, it does work. So the, these keys do work. As you can see, I am upping and lowering the brightness here. And let's go ahead and turn up the volume and see if that works. And it does work as well. All right. Obviously, as you can tell, I was able to hook this up to my Android tablet. Now, the tablet I am using here is a Samsung Galaxy S6. Um, it's the one with the, uh, the S Pen that came with it. And I didn't have any problems hooking it up. It was very easy. All you need to do is just uh, follow the instructions. It's about four to five steps and you are all set. Now, another thing that I liked about this product is that the, the keys are well spaced out here. It's not cramped uh, like on most laptops. Well, at least for me, it does feel cramped on most laptops. Another thing here is that the uh, functions did work. Uh, which I was surprised about. Uh, sometimes, you know, they are hit or miss. Uh, but in this instance, all the function keys worked here. At least the ones that I would need to use on a daily basis, they did work. Uh, another plus with this keyboard is that it is very thin. And it is very light. So you'll be able to place this anywhere. In your backpack. In your bag. If you have a purse, that's long enough for this you'll be able to put that there as well and lastly the other plus is that it came with a keyboard cover which was a very very nice addition as it was not indicated on the description that this would come with a keyboard cover and as I mentioned earlier the keyboard cover is very now, as I mentioned earlier, the keyboard cover stays in place. It's very snug. There's little to no movement here. So you don't have to worry about this slipping off um, or any edges that would pop up or anything like that. So I do really like that, that this did come standard with that. All right, so that's pretty much it for my unboxing and review of the slim wireless keyboard here from Jellycomb. Now, if you guys like what you saw, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.